Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am sick. I have been sick for about a week and a half now. That's why I did not get a video up uh, last week and I was just getting antsy even though I'm still sick and my voice isn't all the way back. I figured, you know what? Let's just do a voiceover and no excuses. We gotta film a video and let's get past the hair in this video because it is a little cray cray. So let's go ahead and start out with foundation, spraying my beauty blender with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And for foundation, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I just love how beautiful and glowy and dewy this foundation makes my skin. Even though I have oily skin, this still looks beautiful on my skin. It's one of my new favorite foundations to use. that is blended to perfection I'm gonna jump into the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and take that light white cream shade and just pat that all over the eye what I wanted to do today even though I didn't feel good I just wanted to do a soft beautiful glam that you can pretty much wear anywhere it's just a really nice pretty halo eye so why not and I was feeling pink so I took that shimmery pink shade and just started to pat that on my eye this took a little bit of finessing because it just wasn't as pigmented as I wanted but it probably had to do that I was using a fluffy brush so if you want more of that pigment just take a different more dense brush to pack more of that color on Next, I'm just taking a shade that has more of a red tone, a darker pink, red, something that's dark, just so that you can tell there's a difference between the eyeshadows, and just putting that on the outer V of my eye and the inner corner of my eye. This shade took a little bit of time to pack on as well, so if you need to use your finger, I would suggest to do so. For the halo part of the eye, I'm taking Cover FX Shimmer Veil, and this is in the shade, oh goodness, Amthyst, Amthyst. I'll list it down below. And it is beautiful. It's just a nice shimmer, pink, glistening. Look at that. I mean, it is gorgeous. I'm just taking the product from the actual applicator and putting it in the middle of my eyelid. And I just used my ring finger just to pat it out, just so it's blended more. And as you can tell, I am pleased with the way it looks, so I'm moving on to concealer. These are my two favorite concealers to use together. One is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. It blends like a dream. I've never had a concealer blend that fast and easy, ever, I promise you. And then I love using the Maybelline Age Rewind. These two together are bomb. I like using the Flower Beauty one under my eyes, and then I just take the Maybelline Age Rewind to highlight the other parts of my face, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and my Cupid's bow. To set my whole face, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. To bronze up my face and the contour, I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer and just cut my cheeks, use it on my forehead, my nose, and on my jawline. And as you can see, I am on the struggle bus when it's coming to contour my nose today. But that's nothing a little MAC 182 stippling brush 
can't fix. I love this brush. It is one of my Holy Girl brushes. It's I think it was one of my first MAC brushes that I ever purchased, and I still have it. That goes to show you how durable MAC brushes are. I use this brush to blend out anything and everything. I'm going to use a blush from Pretty Vulgar. I believe it's uh, in the shade Make Them Blush. This is my first time using it. I got it in my BoxyCharm last month. And it is beautiful. It is pigmented. And I went a little, you know, a little crazy. But like I said before, nothing my MAC stippling brush can't fix. So I, I this is a beautiful blush. I, I, I love it. I'm going to go back to the eyes. And on my lower lash line, I'm going to take that same shade that I put in the inner and outer part of my eye. And just lightly just smoke out my lower lash line. I'm not smoking it out as much as I usually do. But I just thought it brought the whole look together using that color. And for mascara, I'm going to use a mascara from Butter London. It's called Dupper Dupper Double Decker Lashes. I like using this mascara more for my lower lashes. They make them so long and full. For lashes, I'm using the Ardell number 207s, my favorite lashes from the drugstore. And while my glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and start on my lips. The first thing I'm going to do is line them with Rimmel's uh, lip pencil in the shade Natural. And then I like to top that with Milani's liquid lip cream in Adorable. And then I go out of order. This video is just kind of out of order, but that's the mood I was in today. So once I get that on my lips, my lash glue is ready to go and I easily pop on my lashes. For highlight, I went in with an oldie but a goodie. This highlighter never gets old. It is Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Beverly Hills. And I love to mix highlighters and bam, in your face. If you want a crazy blinding highlight, this highlighter is for you. Now back to lips because I am a gloss girl. This is a lip gloss from, I think it's from Revlon and it's in the shade Pink Diamond. It almost matches that Cover FX Shimmer Veil that's on the middle of my eyelid to a T. It just brought the whole look together. And then I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face with the Make It Last Setting Spray. So again, out of order, I remember that I wanted to highlight the inner corner of my eye and my brow bone, and I took that really nice pink shade in that Beverly Hills highlight, and it looks gorgeous. And this is the final look. I know I'm a little all over the place and definitely still under the weather, but I had to get a video up. I was getting antsy. I had to go ahead and do this. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you on my next one. Thanks for watching.